I don't know what happened, y'all. But this thing flipped. And I'm sorry. This is going to be part two of that part one video. But family, this world. And it's so, it's so corrupt. You know, and people's is so against other people's. I hate to see that because I love people's. And I love to see people prospering. I do. Don't get me wrong. Because I, I realized one thing. That this stuff here. We ain't taking none of this with us. None of it. You could say you own your house. You really don't even own that. Because when you're dead and gone. It ain't yours. No more. And you really don't own it. Even when you pay, pay your house off. You still don't own it. Because you got to pay property taxes. If you don't pay them property taxes. They come along and they take your house. Because they consider this is their land. And your house that you own is only unless you can, you know, have your house uplifted. And find you a free piece of property to put your to put your house on. Nothing is free in this world. You have to get out here and you have to get it in. Because if you ain't getting it in and you just existing, just think about it. You just existing. And now today it's so easy to make money. It's not a hard thing. It's just you putting forth the effort. And when you put forth the effort, God will do the rest. But if you're just sitting and not putting forth your effort, can't nothing be done. Nothing. And I call them dreamers. People that dream when they're not working toward their goal. Y'all see, I'm trying to get that last little bit of rice. Mm. Mm. That's good. And I like some home cooked food. Okay? This is the way I like my house. Y'all hear that? You don't hear nothing. Peace and quietness. Miss Queen Mazaya and her mama finally moved out. When you set your goals and you set it out and you talk about, see, these, these irritate me, y'all. Look at here, my edges. It's time for it to come down because it be pulling out my hair because my hair is thin. And look how much it then came up, the braid. Look at that. It didn't grow out. And by my hair being soft and thin, when these braids start, my hair started growing out, and these braids started going down. They be lifting. They this feel like about ten pounds, ten pounds. <clears throat> but family, when you set goals, put it in your mind to stick to it. Don't give up. When you start your YouTube channel, don't give up. Keep on going. Fifteen minutes to thirty minutes a day. That's all it takes. Because what happens is, your family, like my YouTube family, they love me, and I love them. So they be wanting to see what's going on. Now, I might miss maybe one or two days of posting, because I might be too busy, and then I'll be too tired. But I guarantee you, I'm going to come back on here no less than two days. Because going long periods of time, and I get to missing my family. I get to miss talking to them, talking stuff, going live. I love going live because I can interact with everybody. And the thing is, is that some people, they give up. They give up on it. They might put one video up a week, you know. So it's going to be a longer process for you. And then people just go get this interest because they're not seeing you every day. And YouTube, I did not realize it's another whole world. It is. It's another whole world. 
and it's a blessing because you know what my family that ain't seen me in years they can come on youtube and they can see me they can see my kids they can see my family they can see my mother they can see my brother now y'all done seen two of my brothers my other brother uh i don't know if he'll ever get on but i got three brothers and it's a joy you know that my family can they can punch on and they can see me and they can say oh she's doing good or oh she's that because i share everything that i'm going through with y'all so my family know what's going on too and i didn't realize that my family you know as many as they do they watch me i didn't know that i figured i didn't have no support from them because i don't get no comments from my family members or not but come to find out they watch me and my youtube family i love them because that is my ace boom coon okay y'all support me 100 percent my loyal loyal youtube family and it's like you know all this controversy and talking about one another and exposing one another to get uh rates or to go up and subscribers that's not the way to go you don't use other people's downfalls in their life for your come-ups i don't agree with that because that's pointing the finger at somebody and that's really down them you might call somebody to go into a depression stage you know about posting up negative stuff you know about them some people can't take that me on the other hand i still love negativity i don't care because that means i'm doing something right if i get negative from people i'm doing something right and i don't let that bother me you have to be a strong person when you're doing youtube because if you expect to get up there you know people gonna talk about you they're gonna talk about they're gonna say stuff that's gonna really hurt your feelings but if you're not strong, then you'll let them get to you and you'll stop doing your channel and then you'll be clapping back, you'll be blocking. I, You know, I watch a couple of YouTubers and the comments that they be getting negative, they, they get in their feelings and you can't get in your feelings. Wait a minute, y'all, listen. I don't know if y'all heard that. Y'all know I, I, get, I get some farts out from my fart lovers too, okay? And I don't smell it either. My stomach though this stuff is boiling down here because uh my sister girl ain't got no gallbladder so with that being said and done when your gallbladder is removed each time you eat most majority of the time you have to go to the bathroom okay but as years then went on i got a little bit better with it light bright be making fun of me don't let us be driving and I can't hold it and I got to make it to that bathroom. I be tan ass trying to hurry up and get to a bathroom. Be running and light bright, be busting up laughing. And she didn't take me with her little sneaky self. She has taken me. But family, life is about lessons learned. And you supposed, and what I mean by that, you supposed to learn from your mistakes and the things that you do. And don't hold grudges against peoples. Don't hate peoples. Don't talk about peoples. Because that's bad. That is. That's bad. Because while you talking about them, somebody else is talking about you. And to me, when people is down, that's when they mostly need their family and they need their friends to be around them. Because uh, it was a young lady I don't know if I ever told y'all, but it was a young lady. I used to go to the Curse Exchange uh, every Saturday. And I hadn't seen her for a couple of weeks. And her son had committed suicide. And uh, somebody could have saved him. You know, it could have been that one talk that could have turned him around. And that's terrible. And then I have had my, my daughter, her friends, a couple of them, one guy... His girlfriend had got uh, killed, and he turned around. And this happened in Chicago. He turned around and killed himself. That's why when I'm in a public place or something, I'm always talking to people. I love people. I do. You know, and that one person I could have helped, you know, save them. A smile sometimes. It, it eases. A pleasant voice. A hello, how you doing today? 
you know, it helps. We have to start being considerate of other people's. And all these young men out here that's out here killing and stuff, a lot of them don't have no one that they can talk to. So they go to the streets. And when they go to the streets, it's like, I don't have nobody to care about me. Either their parents is on drugs, they got a dysfunctional household, or they've been raised that way. So they don't have a care in the world about life and about taking somebody else's life. They don't even care about their own life. But it might be that one person that could talk to them and to get them to turn around and see that it is somebody out here who loves you. And I always tell young men, I was uh, doing Comcast, picking up cable box. There was a, a young man came to the door. I was there to pick up his equipment. And when he came to the door, he looked he looked a little scary. He probably was scared because he had tattoos everywhere, all on his face and stuff. And I just felt his spirit. And I grabbed his hand, and he looked at me. And I said, you're going through a lot, but you're going to be okay. Everything is going to work out. Whatever it is, let it go. And I hugged him. He got to crying. And he told me, thank you. Because people be scared to even talk to him because of how he looked. Me, on the other hand, I look beneath that. I look, you know, the inner person. And when God gives me uh, a feeling, I don't know where they come from. I must say I have a discerning spirit. I talk to them. I try to help. That's, that's me. I can't change who I am. And I'm not going to go against what God tells me to do. Whether it's a stranger or not, I'm always talking to somebody. And I enlighten people because the, the windows of your soul is through your eyes. Your eyes tell everything about you. If you're going through something, you can't hide it. If a person knows, they can look you deeply in your eyes and they can tell when you're going through something. Yes, they can. When you're happy and you're at peace and content, you have a glow about yourself. That's no lie. But these things, bills, houses, relationships, you have to pray. You have to pray and ask God to help you and put it in his hands. When you put it in his hands, you let it go. God will work it all out. It will be worked out. But as long as you keep on forcing, sometimes forcing the issue and forcing things, God can't do what he got to do for you. You have to let go and let God work it out. Whether it's a job, if a job is getting on your nerves, I always say like this, create your own business. Whether it's uh, making t-shirts or cooking food or cleaning or running, you can do whatever you want to do. All it is is just putting, putting it in your mind and getting out there and giving it a try. No matter how crazy you might think it is, oh, ain't nobody go listen, nobody go buy this. Just think about it. Inventors who invent stuff. If they thought that way, half the stuff that we use and that we have, we wouldn't even have today because they'd be like, oh, no, that's not going to work. They stepped out, they gave it a try, and voila. But if you never step out of your box, you never step out, you will never know how you would have done. So, my thing to you is step out in faith. Give it a try. Because when you work jobs, you working for somebody else, you making them rich. They giving you crumbs. And you spending all your time on a job. And what I mean by that, just think about it. If you work eight, now it'd be eight to 12 hours. It takes you maybe an hour at home to get yourself together to get rest. Okay. Then it takes you maybe 30 minutes to an hour to get to work. So just think about it. And they tell you, well, you off on the weekends or you off on Monday and Tuesday. They, somebody telling you. So you still is enslaved to the dollar bill. Don't let the dollar bills enslave you. And what I mean by that is create your own business. Step out in faith. If it don't work, it don't work. Get back up and try again.